The gesso has now dried. It only takes a few minutes for the gesso to dry and the paper is completely sealed. Here's something that I do every day in my studio. I divide the paper up into five inch by seven inch little paintings. And these become my warm up, my practice paintings. Before I face that large canvas every day, I actually do three little paintings as a warm up. It's like waiting for that second cup of caffeine to kick in and things like that. And that way you don't have to face the, the big sheet of paper first of all. So these become my little gems. These are practice, you know, Doctors practice medicine and lawyers practice law. I think we artists need to practice painting and that's what this is all about. It takes that whole fear out of that whole big expensive sheet of paper. And as you can see by the paper, I've divided it up into five inches by seven inches. And look, out of a full sheet, here I'll just write this down. So you have five inches across this way and seven inches down like this. So we go five, 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 five. That's six paintings all the way across and seven inches down. And so you end up with three rows. So you actually end up with about 18 little paintings on one sheet of paper. See, now it's not so expensive anymore, is it? And you might end up with a little bit of uh, extra uh, material down here. That's okay, they become nice book markers, things like that. But what we're going to do now, while we've divided up into five inches by seven inches, 18 little paintings on one full sheet, we're going to tone the paper and we're going to tone the paper like a mid-tone. Think of from zero being pure white, 10 to pure, pure chroma color. We're gonna try and go right in the middle, five, value of five, like the gray scale. And I'm going to tone it with some orange paint. So here we go. And uh, this has all been dried, it's all been laid out. I'm now going to literally put some orange paint down right on, the, right on it, just like that. And with a real, not a brush, but with a wet paper towel. You're going to tone the whole thing. Ah, now we're getting into it, huh? This is, where, this is where it gets to be fun. And you see how I have ownership. It's done. It's absolutely done. You know, we don't want to be neat here. Neatness does not count. This is all about loosening up. And I can see all my brush marks and the squeegee marks in here. And I love it. It's almost like putting down a patina. There you go.